sometime ananidreta na ananiambia if i die i am dying with you and imagine you are sitting with someone in the car and telling me now count 1 to 10 we are going to crash on that tree because if i die i don't want anyone else to marry you the whole class i was only the black girl others they are norwegian they can speak well they are born and raised there the the study is uh, all mm -hmm. in their language yes me i have to use my ear i have to use this so i, I was using like a double time mm. double time to to understand myself mm. and who was paying for your school fees no it's free it's free yeah in norway you go school, you can uh, you can go to school for free for free i had uh, like a spiritual father mm. and uh, the spiritual father actually was calling me every day even he will call me like uh, oh my daughter my daughter in europe and then uh, first he told me he don't have uh, the ile mavitu za kupiga is a drum mm -hmm. the drum i was told it is cost uh, 500000 mm -hmm. and that time 2010 you can imagine 500,000 is a lot of money and then i ran to the bank very quickly i loaned the uh, lady the money mm. Kukopa. Mm. Kukopa. Uh -huh. Kukopa. and then i sent the pastor the pastor bought uh, just kidogo kidogo three month akaniambia kuna viti za kanisa amehama kanisa kubwa then it is cost 150 mm. then i sent 150,000 nikulize mm -hmm. in total mm -hmm. Iyo ya pastors ya kutuma home ya investment umetumia umetupa pesa ka ngapi eh hey, my dear i think i have used more than 10 million na zimeenda hivyo kaput real estate is a very sensitive subject some people have bought houses because using their life savings so this is money that you have really worked for and so before you put this money into practice mm -hmm. do your due diligence come to the office ask people about it it is okay to ask questions the only person who is stupid enough is the person who never asks good, questions good. do your due diligence that's what i can tell people mm. go to the ministry of lands even go to the people who say who live in those houses that they have been built by prior mm -hmm. the prior projects mm -hmm. ask them get more information it's okay it's, it's okay. okay because at the end of the day knowledge is power it is knowledge is power yeah so trust the process one day your life is gonna change keep on believing you will be better than before so trust the process hi guys welcome to today's episode of inspire global my name is lin gogi and if you've been following then i'm sure you are now familiar with malaika story we did bring her episode on lns and then we brought her son and i promised you she would be back so that she can take us through her journey in norway how was she able to start from scratch go through divorce to becoming such an important person in the medical field there in norway and guys today's episode we are about to take home a lot of lessons because i believe what malaika has gone through no one deserves to go through and you might be asking where is lin today guys i'm coming to you straight from prism towers by kings developers and there's a specific reason why i'm doing this ptc here or why i'm doing this introduction here because they are the guys behind amazing projects as you can see kings eden garden you saw ochieng's story and he has an apartment right now at Serenity in Rongai they are behind if i start mentioning their projects i won't finish but from the top of my head prism towers where i am sifa towers and as you can see king sapphire in nakuru and they have an upcoming project in riru that i want you guys to start checking out it's going to benefit you a lot and as i said malaika's episode i can't bring it without an expert we will be joined by Sheila who works here at Kings Developers so that she's able to take us through what are some of the things that you need to be watching out before you get an apartment what are some of the lessons that you need to learn in the real estate you know e real estate and also how can you invest with them and make sure that you are getting an apartment from an authentic source let's tune in to Malaika story this is Inspire Global by Elenin 
malaika i'm yes. very happy kukutana yes. tena na wewe and as i had promised my people leo tunawaletea story yako version ya inspire global and you look lovely kama kawaida Thank you. today i tried much in you so i don't know kama nimejaribu ama niko sawa uko sawa niko sawa yes. sasa tulikuwa tumefika wewe na mm. your person mumeenda norway yeah aya take us from there Oh yes. Ah uh, thank you Lenny Ngogi yes. for having me back. Mm-hmm. It's a pleasure. Mm. Uh, so uh, we went uh, majuna mzungu wangu. Eh. So mzungu wangu tulipofika um, tulipofika Norway so we was uh, I was like now now I'm in another paradise. Uh-huh. So when we came there mzungu unajua ukiona mzungu you think is only money money mm. but it was not like that mm. on my side. Uh-huh. So in the house kiti ilikuwa ni ile ukikalia unahanguka nayo. Okay. Yes. So and now I'm in Europe. Eh. Kitanda ukienda ilikuwa inanuka mkojo. Na ni mzungu. Unaona? <laughs> yeah, so like serious. So then I was like hawa ni wale wazungu tunasikiaga wako na pesa ukishapanda ndege umesha sasa fika kwa kwa watu ambao wako na mali kem kem. Kuna pesa. Hapa. Kuna pesa. Mm. So mimi sikuamini macho yangu lakini nikasema gai yani kiti mwenyewe tu kikalia tu hivi unaanguka unaanguka nayo na yani umekalia tu hivi unaanguka nayo nyumba yenyewe unaiona tu inakaa shagra bagra mpaka nikawa nasema nyumba nilikuwa naishi Mombasa ilikuwa safi sana eh. cuz uh, I was living as I told you earlier yes. I was living nyari yeah. I was a neighbor to Naji Barara yeah. And uh, then um tukakaa tu hivi then we started like uh, uh, nikamwambia yule mzee maybe we should in, maybe renovate the house mm. and maybe buy in ni second hand uh, sofa mm-hmm. kwa sababu ile ile tayari ishaanguka yeah. uh, na unajua nilikuwa kamnono tu hivi kidogo sasa unajua sasa ile nini ka uzito sasa kanaangusha mm. ile nini mm. so then uh, kamzungu kalikuwa pia hakana pesa tulikuwa hata tunalala nja kabla mwisho wa mwezi ufike so eh, eh, nini kalikuwa kanapata kama 4000 origin krona eh, for those who don't know we use a eh, krona krona mm. is a very low currency mm. is it currency In Norway, yeah. it's currency. yes mm. eh, inakuwa ga very low mm. hata nikikuja naye Kenya it will not eh, have much value okay. we can't even change it here mm. so eh, tukaenda kwa second hand and then we bought the nini to sofa to find it to I, I wish I have the picture then you could have it mm. kitchen ilikuwa ni ile inakaa red ni kama nini eh, butchali eh na ni kitchen ni yani kila kila kara kabati ni, ni red ni red kasema oh god of nazareth hii ndio nasikiaga europe ya wazungu and uh, then i was uh, mesmerized and uh, i was uh, i was like uh, hawa ni wazungu ambao nasikiaga yani matajiri mm. mbona mimi wangu nimepewa nini maskini hizo Mwisho wa mwezi lazima kwanza tu, tuangalie yani tu, e, anaweza niambia e, tuchunge kwa sababu hatuna pesa ya kutosha baka mwisho wa mwezi. Mm. So tulikuwa tunakula ile kitu ambaye iko. Mm. Kamzungu alikuwa kana pesa mm. lakini kana nyumba nyumba mm. kameachua na wazazi juu kalikuwa kamekufa. Mm. And for those who also who don't know I was married with a old man. Mm. Alikuwa hana meno akitoa naweka kwa glass na mimi pia na mimi natoa naweka kwa glass. Huyu mwenye mmeenda naye sasa. Yes. yes. Age difference. Age ilikuwa? different. He was 65 eh. I was 22. Okay. Yes. So akitoa meno zake anaweka pale na mimi nilikwambia pale nyuma <laughs> yeah, eh, nikiwa kwa street nilikula gruzi kakata meno. <laughs> eh now mkiniona hii tu meno twangu inachaka na hata hivi. So eh, eh. yani it is God eh, by God is grace eh, here. Yeah. So hata nilikuwa pia mimi najiangalia na sema eh hey, mm. sasa eh, huyu amenipendea nini? Si nilikuwa sina tumeno huko tu huko mbele. And then akitoa anaweka na mimi natoa naweka tunalala tunaamka yani ni kama wazee wawili yes. and i was a, just a very young girl mm. and on that time because i believed now i have to live like that i didn't know there is a mean you can make up yourself mm. and um, eh, make yourself great again mm. let, let us say, say, so. say so yeah so then i think it was 2006 when i came back to kenya mm. And um I went to Mombasa and then I had to do you know ile permanent ile meno mm. unaweka permanent mm. you know 
and then that is what I did mm. and then uh, I I could have them like uh, some uh, maybe like uh, one year zilikuwa zinafunjika funjika because mm. they were not professional mm-hmm. so the one you see now smiling like yeah. this I did it in Turkey and um uh, now I have been I've been having them like uh, from 2017 okay yes so they are permanent and yeah. they are porcelain they are very expensive I use the 3 million or the whole of my mouth Yes. <laughs> I use the 3 million. They are beautiful. Uh, yes, Apart they, from they are be- the money. They yes. are beautiful. They are beautiful. They are yeah, beautiful. because because I say you know mm. I I I am actually the one who is uh, who is working and uh, I, a woman mm. is a face and her smile. A smile and also the hair. Mm. And then I've been working so hard so hard so hard and then uh, that is why I said let me use money for myself. Mm. And then I did so. Mm-hmm. I went to Turkey just 3 mm. days. Everything is done, the whole month I come back. Mm-hmm. And I started working again. Okay. And I'm so glad I did it. Let me now take you back when we came to Norway. Mm. I, I'm a class 5 dropper. And I told you Aria uh, on the first episode that mm. uh, when I went to Norway or when I met this muzungu, I was not speaking English. My English was me love you. Me you love me. me. Me love you, you love me. Eh uh, hata wakati nilianza kwenda kwa ile nini moyo msicheke yeah yeah wakati nilienda kwa ile nini ile Norwegian eh uh, uh, course uh, 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 ile lazima usome Norwegian uh, eh nilikuwa kama ule mwalimu wa wa Kinorwegian uh, anatuuliza what is your name where do you come from i was saying uh, uh, me come from Kenya because i i didn't i didn't know and understand this english mm. to be honest and i, I was not joking and uh, me come from kenya um my name is jane and then ule alikuwa ananiambia ule mwalimu ananiambia your english is so special mimi sasa nilikuwa nasema ananiambia is so special because i'm speaking so good oh yeah oi kumbe nimechapa kumbe kumbe nilikuwa because also we had some people from uh, other country like um uh, pakistan oh. we were all <coughs> foreigners oh in that class mm. so actually i was the, the one who was speaking better mm. so when he told me like um uh, your, english uh, your english is so special. special i met a lot of kenyan but you was hush eh and then come and be on thank you thank you cuz i i knew he mean it is the special in in that kind special way we know yes um kila wakati akinikutana naambia eh you come from kenya yeah me come from kenya Yaani nilitana automatically to be like eh, like eh, those people from Croatia me me come mm. I am not like that person like eh, I come from anyway eh, what happened uh, I thank Google mm. yeah may you Google live long Google live long <laughs> may you Google live long uh-huh. that's how I learned my English yes and then I started in like uh, taking some small courses and um, eh, that's how I started and eh, my muzungu He was old but he was that womanizer. I never give this story to anyone. Uh but I, I'm telling you here because uh, some people may may say uh um, you know they, they may say uh, like uh, wazungu they are just uh, nini uh, perfect, perfect uh, that nini yani ukiolewa na mzungu kila kitu iko sawa. Mm. So my mzungu was also womanizer. And I'm, I was that a very faithful woman and um uh, <laughs> when I was in, in Kenya so he had uh, uh, I had friends so I used to call them so that we can have a dinner together you know so I don't know how they gave a number together uh, how they exchanged the number mm. I never know because I, I trusted my friend so people don't trust your friend very much mm. Uh, so we were there in uh, Norway I don't have food I don't have even uh, some uh, money to go to um, uh, to 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 school because I was going to school like that minute or mm. 20 minutes something mm. like that but uh, sometime I will come home I get uh, nini uh, one of the receipt ametumia mshana na huyo ni rafiki yangu Kenya like 100000 but for me even having 20 krona he don't give me But for me I was like a that wise woman I never ask him who who ha, whom have you sent this money to mm. I see it but I assume I have not seen it because I don't want uh, you know drama. I don't want drama I am new here 
and then my mzungu was uh, let me call him my mzungu because uh, he was mine and he was the one who took me to europe mm. and if it was not him how could i know uh, the norway mm. so god used him to ma- uh, to, to bring make me ways to you. make w- ways for me mm. so my mzungu was uh, that a crazy guy he could even look at me he tell me you you know you in africa very poor because i've come from the very poorest family actually i have changed with them by my hard working but i come from that poor family no shoes no no food you know that is how that is why we didn't uh, go to school very much because mm. there, there was that uh, uh, nini shortage kashida. Uh, mm. kashida so my mzungu uh, later he was even coming back to kenya to mm. visit my friend mm. i went to the police and i was reporting there to uh, that like my muse he is nowhere to be found yeah i called even yeah i called his uh, fr- uh, his uh, children uh, is your papa at home they told me pa- he's not there and i say no i haven't seen him for three days and his number is not going through so he went to kenya for three weeks and then he is with my friend and then he came back in um, i mean in um, in norway after three weeks after I have reported even to the police they they saw that uh, no he's uh, he's having his uh, cash out in Kenya you know and then they told me relax and then i knew he mm. he's there with my friend mm. then when he come back he told me baby i love you so much let me let us start again and i say no where were you and he say no i was on a holiday you know this i was in spain and i tell him no you was in Kenya you was in Kenya and you was in Nairobi somewhere called this and this tell me oh who told you so now he he already know now he tell me the whole story yeah i was uh, in kenya but who told you now he will make a big story out of that who told you i was in kenya and i say yeah because i reported and uh, why do you report me so it was a cause after cause mm. the muzungu was beating me i have uh, scars on my body actually and uh, the muzungu we will uh, um we will uh, almost every day it was just crazy mm. and uh, one day actually we i woke up in the morning he was in the kitchen and i had uh, my bikini you know when you're married mm. you don't need to go with the uh, full dress mm. full dress is your husband mm. you have to show him that you are a woman eh? mm-hmm. yeah so i was uh, like that a bikini in the mm. morning mm. and then he was making <laughs> uh, what do you call it <laughs> he was making my eyes mm. yeah and then he showed me and told me you are too beautiful he banned me on my ash he told me he wanted my ash to uh, kaput because no people see me your back kaput yeah because he don't want people to see me on yes. my on my back mm. and it was a painful lean and then i had to go to the hospital i could uh, not go with the clothes like i had mm. to go with the big clothes mm. because nyama uh, ilikuwa inatoka toka you know it was mm. bad mm. that muzungu tasadi me and uh, then uh, the, <laughs> the mzungu the mzungu we go with him maybe for be, be, ben station mm. um, um be, ben is, uh, you know like kuweka uh, gari mafuta oh petrol station petrol station mm. yeah tunaita ben station okay, okay. yeah so sorry uh, it's okay. i will mix it kidogo it's okay. yes mm. so then uh, we go there instead he he focus on uh, putting the bens in there the petrol petrol petro, Uh, he will look around any man who is there and is looking for me me i'm not looking for them don't look my wife so i had a problem and then he will make a commotion in that ben station mm. pentro station mm. and then that was it and then now if they don't understand they will now make it like a like a problem mm. but in europe people are not like african they will fight it there and there mangumi mm. there mm. and there mm. So I will go and tell uh, uh, my husband no good in head please <laughs> please uh, um, it's a problem problem in head uh. when I say okay okay wanaenda alafu wananiambia you married you married this you beautiful no marry this na sema no 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 problem it's okay ndio wamwache cuz it was just a chaos kusikuwa na drama many times he threatened my life it was not easy <clears throat> we were driving 
because he was driving and uh, the car was that car, uh, the car which was uh, nini matangari mm. i don't know munaitaga mm. matangari old the, car old car the car was the old car even you could see even in, inside the car you are sitting mm. you, you don't feel like you are sitting on a car is a muzungu i didn't believe that this is wazungu everyone uh, is uh, yearning for ama yearning mm. mm-hmm. yeah so sometime anani threat ananiambia if i die I am dying with you. And imagine you are sitting with someone in the car and telling me now count 1 to 10. We are going to crash on that tree because if I die I don't want anyone else to marry you. I was like ah uh, some you know it reached the uh, stage I said uh, it's okay. If I die let me die. Because uh, you have had a lot of thing from this muzungu day and night. You are very far. He he never crash. Sometime he will go and tell now that is the river i'm going to throw our car there then we die together because uh, that was uh, it was i think he was a psychopath mm. every time he will beat me even in front of my son without nothing mm, so that time now your son had joined you in not really? my son had joined me because okay. he joined me one late one, one year, year later, later. Mm. so he was beating me but uh, he will cover always my son and say my son is good you are monster for nothing i don't know if uh, nilikuwa nimetoka na tushetani kenya sijui kuna tushetani mm. tulikuwa tumenifuata ama nini mm-hmm. mtu anakupiga tu without nini hakuna reason akitoka kazi ama wakati alikuwa ananipeleka shure imagine he stopped working he will stay there he say my teacher my teacher who was a noshki kush mm-hmm. eh, norwegian ko, ko, mm-hmm. eh, yeah mm-hmm. the learning language mm-hmm. He will uh, now 80 80 a.m. until 3 he will lay on the sofa and uh, on the car waiting for me. He don't work. Because he said that uh, the teacher the teacher is in love with me. And he even he don't know the teacher. A lot of beautiful women inside there. When I come out imagine he have waited me from 80 a.m. to 3 a.m. But uh, uh-huh. even I come out he know I have not even been out. He will he still accuse me and tell me I think you have been in, in the toilet with the, the with the teacher. And a lot of uh, a lot of uh, student there. So it was just like that. Mm. Sometime he will come at home. I am sleeping. Actually he dislocated one of my hand. Sometime I have a uh, pain now and then. Mm. He dislocated I'm sleeping and he come or, or with the, um, he come and then he did like that on my hand and I'm sleeping it was middle of the night. And I was like oh Jesus what a kind of life is this. And then maybe my father have called me my biological dad have called me. He will not believe is my father. I think that man he was a psychopathy, mm. the jealous man. Mm. He will pick that phone and call my dad and tell him you will never see your daughter again. In the same sentence he's telling me that is not your dad. that is your boyfriend in Kenya but you see when he call him you will no, never see your daughter again so my parent even was uh, worried like uh, what is going to happen now mm. now this is a man he is now threatening us and uh, thing like that now i was not allowed to call anybody i was not allowed to receive any call if any call is is received it is him who will receive is my call is my phone mm. if i call out he have to check the call log received received and uh, calling dialed. out mm-hmm. a dial there so it was uh, just uh, catastrophic mm. with uh, this man mm. and uh, then uh, it was uh, we were only three months old in Norway and um i de- i decided no it was not a three month old because my son mm. had uh, came mm. uh, one year later mm. and uh, uh before even he came so we were having just a problem after mm. problem mm. but when my son came because of what he he was seeing now and then my m- mama being beaten my son will go even to, to my neighbor and ask my neighbor come and help my mom they will not come and they don't forget is african your neighbor was african yes is african I will not mention too much about that because mm. I you uh, say is is also a very big story mm. anyway. So, I went to a place called the crisis center. I don't know, I think it's crisis center. It's mm. like a crisis center. It's, yeah. 
is aware uh, women if you have um, a crisis a center. crisis mm. uh, you will be taken there yes. and you can be there as long as you want mm. but uh, you see for me i didn't have even paper to stay in Norway. Mm. so i was that person who who could not get too much help like other people but when we went there so we were getting bread and milk bread and milk is it a day is it a night is it a, is it a dinner mm. so i didn't have money even to buy a meal a good meal for myself but i thank god if there was a, a man that man was an old man he died um, now i think 6 years ago mm -hmm. that man he was a, that man he don't know me and then if there is a woman even today and her name is Irena let me mention her because i know she will watch this i will send her the link uh, that woman even today they are my family in norway today Irena Bondal mm. Yeah, this do say there, so do can who's get it. Yeah, like, I mean, like, uh, if you see that, Akiona. yeah, uh, vi, uh, if you see this, you will remember this. Okay, yes, mm. uh, this do say that, uh, you know, this do say that. Uh, yeah, uh, is she is a very good woman until today, even when we are here in Kenya, she's still checking on us if we are okay. Mm. She is that woman who been uh, like uh, for us when I went there. As I told you, I'm a class five dropper. Mm. I started like going to school slowly, slowly, kidogo, kidogo. She will come to that Christ center, pick my son, take him to, to school, pick me, take me to my school, and they imagine with all stresses. I, I went to school and I passed with the blue color. I passed with the blue color. I didn't believe myself that uh, is it me with my English. And uh, this is a, a new language because in Norway you don't uh, you don't uh, even if you are taking master you have to do it within a region. You can imagine. Me, I went to Norske Kush, uh, um, um, Norwegian College, mm. just three months only. I was out of the school. I could start communicating. I started, you know, washing in the floor in the offices. And uh, one day it was uh, one woman, uh, she was a boss in a very big nursing home. And then she showed me, I think she saw a future in me. And she told me, um, she told me, would you like to work inside uh, and uh, help the patient? And I said, no, 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 I can't. I can't. Mm. I, I, can, I cannot be a doctor. Mm. <laughs> I, yeah, because I, I see everybody's wearing white. I, for me, I'm call, I was calling them a doctor. Mm. And she told, no, 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 no. Listen to me. Everyone you are seeing here, no doctor. And uh, there are many a nurse. Even me, I'm not a doctor. I am a nurse. Mm. I just uh, take, uh, you know, like if you the education. That is why I am a leader in this uh, nursing home. Mm. And I say, oh, but I cannot be a nurse. Oh, no, 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 no. This is uh, too big for me. Yeah, because I didn't believe anything. I didn't believe anything in me. I didn't believe I can get somewhere. But I still have a dream. But uh, that dream, I could not see it uh, coming to pass because uh, I see myself like a, a very, a very ca ca useless girl. Eh? But God is good. That woman told me, no, you can do it. She's a Norwegian. Sometime, you know, we say like uh, when you live in abroad, you get a race, you know some uh, some people who are rest, 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 resist resist yes mm -hmm. but uh, that woman she's the one who encouraged me but i was like no 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 i can't be but she told me don't worry do you want to join and i say yeah sure and she told me that was a 2007 mm. she told me you know what there is a classes that are starting tomorrow and i say oh but that is too quickly. Do you think I can manage? My Norwegian is still not very good. Mm. Eh? And then she called the teacher. She's the one like, uh, like uh, forcing me or like, I don't say maybe forcing. Pushing She's uh, pushing me for mm. my greatness or something. Mm. And then she called and, and uh, the teacher there say, ah, just ask her to come. And uh, when she, she says so, and I was like, what am I going to say there? My English is not good. I am still speaking this me, 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 and and this one. Mm. And then I don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. I went there. When I went there, the teacher uh, told me, actually, we are starting tomorrow. Are you ready? And I started this thing, and I said, yes. Imagine 
the, the classes are starting tomorrow and it's not that small classes. I come in, you know, when I came in, I started, you know, like leading this anatomy mm. and everything. I'm not used though. I don't know how is it. Kusoma yani your body like, like your anatomy, vile chakula kinaendaga, mm. vile hiyo malaji intersense inatomika. I don't mm. know. Then I started uh, buying, you know, dictionary. Dictionary, you know, find. You know, find these, uh, uh, these uh, medicine things. Mm. You know, find. But I bought a lot of uh, Oxford, yeah, English. Mm. It doesn't bring me anything. So I had to use Google. That's why I say Google, live long. Mm. Because Google have taught me a lot. Mm. I will go to Google <coughs> and I find that Kamu too. Then I will read, yeah, inaitwa nini, inaitwa nini. That's how I did. And actually, the whole class, I was only the black girl. Others, they are Norwegian. They can speak well. They are born and raised there. The, the study is uh, all mm -hmm. in their language. Yes. Me, I have to use my ear. I have to use this. So I, I was using like a double time. Mm. Double time to, to understand myself. Mm. And who was paying for your school fees? No, it's free. It's free. Yeah, in Norway, you go school. You can uh, you can go to school for free for free. Like right like, like now. Wow. You see, they buy even my laptop. Wow. Right now, I'm going uh, further education. Further education. Yeah, uh -huh. so further education. Yes. So uh, I will be done in two and a half years. Wow. Yes. So I'm going further education. What are you studying? Nikama unaweza ukakuwa yani the leader or mm. the or the big nursing home. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I'm taking this uh, field education. Mm. It's very good. Mm. So I work mostly with the autism. Mm. Uh, autism. Uh, aut mm. Autism. Mm. Uh, autism. Eh? Mm. It, in, you know, in the region, uh, when you say autism, it's and then you say in English, it's all different. The, no region is almost the same in English. Mm. We only say it the way it is written. Oh, autism. autism. And you say ah, autism. Yes. Autism. Yes. Yes. So, so there is autism. Autism. autism mm. Yeah. So I work with them. Now. Google is Google. Yeah. Yeah. Google is go. Google. Google. Yeah. Okay. You see. So yes. It's, yes. It's almost the same. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, so in Norway. Mm. You don't need to pay nothing. Okay. You pay nothing. So in, in my laptop is paid. They pay mm. all my book. I have bought. Uh, I bought uh, the book that is uh, more than that thousand Kenya shilling. They pay. They pay it for me. Wow. Because they are happy. People are studying. Wow. Oh. So in Norway, uh, uh, in Norway, I can study until it okay kwa mapua. Mm. You know. Even if I'm old, I will start. If I feel this is good, I start. I feel this is good, I start. I start. Mm. You pay nothing. Mm. You know. So it is up to you if you want to to need to grab that chance or not mm. or not yeah mm. so that is what i did so you are you are a black girl in class in the class you are doing good i was very afraid because i was like uh, no i won't make it but i had that voice uh, the, who which were telling me that uh, i will make it do you know what uh, it was a uh, exam exam day exam day and um Everybody, you know, they are even going outside and smoking. Me, I'm inside. I never even go take breakfast. No, no, not breakfast, but in pause. Eh? Mm. Uh, um, uh, break time? Yes, a break time. A, bre a break time, yes. yes. I never go. They go and smoke. They will go even on a holiday. Me, I go nowhere. Even when I come in a class in the morning, they will get me there and they will leave me there. Mm. I don't go out from my sofa. Mm. And I'm this there. time you're in school, you've already separated with your husband. Muli I am Achana. still with him, but I am I'm, uh, I'm, uh, living in, in the, the crisis, crisis center. center. So, so I was there for three months. And uh, now at, uh, at the crisis center, they mm. are telling me, mm. uh, because you, are not, uh, you have not been here for a long and you have no permission, blah, 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 so much, mm. much thing, so mm. you have to be returned. And for me, I say it's okay. I'm ready to go back. I know I was not chased by anyone, and um, I think I can start again. Mm. But this Norwegian, um, Norwegian uh, woman called Irena Bondal, I mention her because mm. she's a sweet woman. Mm. She's, a, she's a family to me. She's a family to us. My father, uh, my my son, mm. you heard him saying that he had someone like a, a, a father family, figure. Father figure. That man called uh, Aina Bonda is the husband. Is the husband. Oh. That man he will call my son even today, every Sunday. 
every Sunday, imagine every Sunday calling mm -hmm. someone is not your son, someone is not your family. Yeah. We are African. Mm. These people are just in Norwegian. Mm -hmm. Even today, they call him every Sunday. Mm. Are you okay? What mm. are you doing? Mm. They care for him just like the, he's the father figure. Mm -hmm. For me, I don't speak too much in Norwegian. I don't speak too much English. And he have a homework. Think how I could survive. Mm. It was not easy. Mm. And also the Norwegian guy who married me, so he was not also good on all this. In books. So we, uh, God sent us uh, that oh. Irena Bondale mm. and Aina Bondale. God mm. bless you guys. Mm. And then, uh, um, as I told you, so we were going back there and uh, to school and uh, to them, uh, mm. to the Christ Center. But she will make sure we are ha I am having food that I need mm -hmm. without me paying. Mm. Because there you could not eat the food you want, only bread and milk, bread and milk, bread and milk. But uh, she made sure that we are eating yani variation mm. of, of, of food. Yeah? Mm. So that is how it happened. So uh, to take you just sharp, uh, we did our uh, our first no prove, uh, you know, uh, what do you call exam? It's not exam. Mm. What do you call prove? Test. Yeah, it, it's a test. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a prove. Mm. Yeah, it's a test. And then we did that a, um, a test, and then I passed. And I say, oh, so I can make it, and it was not easy. I make it, and then we did a second one, and then I pass it. Some people in the region, they are not passing it. And I say, but it, they, it is their language. Yes. Why? But for me, I'm there. I have bought all, all, the, all the means, of everything that is needed for me to understand. But Google was my first, uh, my, my first uh, uh, helper. Yes. So, 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 Lynn, I will tell you that God is so good. And uh, our last exam, the final, I was very afraid. And I was like, a God, I think this I will not make it because I know nothing about this one. But I, I was sleeping. And this I will repeat again. I always hear the voice of God speaking to me. And I saw like uh, the way you can see the TV station, someone lifting my hand. That was the angel. And I saw that was the teacher. You know, when uh, you are doing this, uh, uh, the final exam, we have someone back. What do you call it in English? Sensor? Yeah, supervisor. Oh, is it a supervisor? Mkani? Yeah. Mm. They, are, they are back mm. and someone is in front of oh. you. So you don't know if you want to do a match or a new match. Oh. Mm. Yeah, we call it them sensor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Mm. Yeah. So they are there. So I am sweating. And then they are asking me question. But I have read because if I read it today, I can read that book. And I can tell you everything I have read without even looking it again. Mm. That is God. Eh? God has given me that grace and I am so thankful to God. Mm. So in the final exam, I passed it. I had a five plus, which is very good. I think here in Kenya we have a, 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 B. a B, yes. Yeah. So palette to corner one to six. Six is good. Yes. And five, five is. Oh, so you so had, had like a, a minus. Yes. So I had, I had passed with that. So... Congratulations. Be yeah, yeah, so yeah. It, because it was the final exam, mm. the, all some Norwegian, the, the, my class uh, mate, mm. they didn't believe them. They say, no, she must have known the teachers. I know nobody because you, you are not having that uh, final exam with your teacher. You are having with the stranger. So, so. Uh -huh. they, they don't know you. You don't know them. And you are sweating. You even someone who's sitting back, you don't know if they are closing the the the. And I say my vizuri, I'm mm. my vizuri. Mm. Me, I passed it very good. Later, now I joined work. Yes. When I joined work, and then we had to do the medicine uh, kush, uh, uh, like like medicine college. Yes. We went there. Then I was afraid. I passed. They didn't pass. I was like, wow. You know, like uh, knowing how you, you are going to use the medication to this and this and this. Mm. I was afraid. And then I started saying, oh, God, hey, I'm becoming somebody. So I started actually working 2006. Mm. Very well. I was working. I don't have a driver uh, li license. license. But uh, uh, I was crying to God because uh, when I came to Noroso, I, I lived in a village. You have to walk uh, a lot of uh, minutes or... Uh, 
yeah. hours, mm -hmm. hours to go and maybe buy a thing and then you have to collect them like this. And then Saturday and Sunday we didn't have buses, mm -hmm. no train, nothing. So in Norway it's not like the way people think is a, is a very big country. Actually we are 5 million people, mm -hmm. even those who are watching they will confirm. Mm -hmm. We are 5 million, so it's a very small country. So I believed in God uh, for driving license and things like that. But uh, now I didn't have someone to help me to uh, practice mm. driving. But uh, that man uh, that who died uh, then, I think 2014 or something. Mm. No, no, before that. Mm -hmm. So that man was uh, also like a father figure to me. You know, when uh, you have people and then they ne neglect you. God always represses someone good That's into true. your life. That's true. Yes. yes. Because that man came just when uh, uh, my ex-husband, he started like a bobo bo, mm. And then he started... Uh, <laughs> he started <laughs> what? bobo <laughs> bo, bo, bo. Yeah. <laughs> I know. So that the guy now came okay. and he was also an old man. He started helping me by driving in the evening. Sometime I will call him and he, li he lived very far. Mm. I will tell him mm. uh, that I don't have food and things like that. If he could come just to help me to go and do a big shopping mm. so that I have something for my child. Mm -hmm. And then he actually did so. Every time I will call him. And uh, in my mind, and uh, uh, you know, like how we think, I was thinking, oh God, I hope he's not having another intention. Yes. But he didn't have. No, he didn't have. He was an old man, but he was okay. He never, he didn't have, I never seen his wife. Mm. So I was like, oh God, I hope he will come down because uh, I'm not ready for, for this now, yes. old men now. Yeah. The man was very okay. Even when we do shopping, he will actually pay. I called him, I, uh, I do shopping, I pay. But uh, now I called him to help me just to drive, but he will also pay. And when we come home, he will just sit there and even he sleep like he's at home. Mm. He will not even uh, make a lot of uh, like uh, boo, boo, boo. and uh, yeah and <laughs> <laughs> and even he not not like looking me and say you know you look good and yes. things like that. Yeah. He was just respecting me and mm. he was telling me you 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 are like my daughter. He was just uh, that a uh, calm guy. Mm. He helped me a lot. And then that uh, that was uh, actually um, now um, 2006, mm. seven there, and uh, then we we were not no longer with my husband. Mm. So my ex now uh, he, he wanted to have a threesome, yes, and then I told him no, I cannot do that, and he told me yes. If you don't do that, we cannot uh, be together. And I say, I cannot do that. Then we cannot be together. And then he tell me maybe we live uh, in mm. Nini because we had a three bedroom mm. that time on that mm. old house. Mm. And then uh, that is why he was even running to Kenya and uh, coming back mm. and things like that. But mm. I was uh, also happy because... Uh, peace of mind. Yeah, peace of mind. So I started working lane. I'm working there, but I'm, I'm going with my leg. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm walking mm. to my work and home. My son ha ha had to come to nursing home and uh, wait for me. And imagine it's uh, in the evening. Mm. And uh, they waited, um, he waited there and I have to check on him. And also I'm checking for the patient. I'm coming back and telling you, are you okay? And I give him maybe something to eat. So he wait for me. And we are working until 10, mm. 10 30 in mm. the evening. Mm. My son, he finished the school. I don't want him to be at home. I was that caring mother. Mm. I don't want to be him at, at home alone. And then it was so strange. <coughs> like I told you in the first episode, mm. my life had been up and down, mm. up and down. So my son, he will come home and sometimes he, he started crying because also it was uh, in the school he was going. Mm. It was a kind of uh, like a racist. Mm. He was also a black guy, mm. a black man mm. in a, a, black, a black child there. So it was uh, too many things that were happening. So I was dealing with the same thing, uh, many things at the time. My ex-husband is beating me. 
there at the school my son is coming home and asking me mom why you never told me my name is david and i told him no your name is david kimani no mom my name is david that is why they are calling me at school i was like what is this eh? what and then they took my son from home from mass so my son have been in a children home uh, when he was on a foster home, I didn't have also a driving license, so I could not work there and there. Mm. But then I believed in God in everything. Then, uh, as I told you, God sent that uh, angel man mm. who helped me, and then uh, finally I had my driving license. Mm -hmm. Then I started the movement, yeah. like working from uh, this uh, nini, this county to another county to another county because I I believe in my hard working mm. and I believe in hard working. Mm -hmm. So um, I started working and uh, even before that I was still sending money in Kenya. Like uh, I want um, I want my family to rent rent yes. re rent a farm mm. so that uh, because. Uh, I always want a business. I always want to be an estate owner. I always wanted to be someone, you know, to change the society. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was my vision. And I believed I can change it with my family, through my family, because uh, it's the people that I have trusted so, so very much. But then uh, I remember uh, one day, without mentioning anyone, I sent the money to my family to uh, to rent a very big farm in South Kinangop. And uh, that farm, I was told it was rent. Uh, nikatuma pesa, nakatuma pesa. Naambiwa, utulete, utupe pesa, utupe nini pesa ya, ya watu wa kulima, mm. wa kibarua. Mm. Utupe pesa ya vataraisa, ninatuma kila kitu. Because I believed uh, like uh, that is how it have to work. Mm. Because uh, that time I wanted to, to be, you know, like uh, kulima, uh, carrot mm. na nini ilikuwa ni carrot na waru because mm -hmm. I wanted it to grow zinaperekwa Mombasa zinafanywa mm. na wholesale mm. thing like that and then uh, one day I was just feeling like uh, I had it now to to ask someone just like that I asked one of my cousin nikamwambia hebu nenda uangalie kama nini shamba yangu iko sawa ama bado ina inaendelea juni shatu mapesa za vataraisa mm. shatu ma everything when they knew i know that uh, it is not uh, it's not what uh, i had uh, always send money mm. wakaniambia shamba imeungua and then i was like wow wow and the way i have sent the money mm. lakini niambiwa kila kitu imeungua then i leave that then I started believing in uh, doing something more. I, in 2010, I started also going to church uh, here in Nairobi, and I and uh, I became like a, I had a, like a spiritual father. Mm. And uh, the spiritual father actually was calling me every day. Even he will call me like, uh, "Oh, my daughter, my daughter," in Europe. And uh, when you hear that, ni kama unawekwa wakashetani na watu I don't know. Ni kama kashetani tuka na weke wago. Hey, what was that? You need to be careful. That was 2010. And then, uh, first, he told me he don't have uh, the ile mavitu za kupiga. Mm. Uh, is a drum. Is a drum. Mm -hmm. The drum, I was told, it cost uh, 500,000. Mm. And that time, 2010, you can imagine, 500,000 is a lot of money. And then, I ran to the bank very quickly. I loaned the uh, lead in the money, Gokoba. Mm. Mm. Uh -huh. Kukopa. And then I send the pastor. The pastor bought. Uh, just kidogo kidogo three months. Akaniambia kuna viti za kanisa. Uh, amehama kanisa kubwa. Then it is cost 150. Mm. Then I send 150,000. Kukaka kidogo. Akaniambia hana izile mativi. Izile munaeka kwa kanisa ndiyo mutu wajione. Mm. Minaitua ma screen? Mm. Izo prompters. Yes. Then I send the money. So, uh, like, uh, like, uh, like, let, let me say, in a duration of uh, like uh, five months, I had already said more than one million. But that one was the thing I'm, I'm doing for the church. It is my spiritual father, you mm, know. Mm. I send, I send. Then it was now the time was going, and then he told me, Ah, kairetu wakoa. Unajua, wewe tu ndio ni nae, nwe tu ni nae amini tu. Na kuna kashida niko nae. Unikopeshe na mi nita kurudishia. Unajua mi ni mtu na julikana hii Kenya sana. 
mpaka alikuwa anaenda na helicopter mm. eh hey, helicopter na mimi nikisikia mtu anaenda na helicopter naona eh hey, hapa hivi huyu mtu aweze ninyaganya mm. i went to the bank nikamkopeshea 3 million sasa hizo nikamkomkomboshea si zile ambazo nimekuwa nimempea hiyo nimemnulia hii nimemnulia hii nikamkopeshea hiyo 3 million mm. simu went off alikuwa i ayuko off but simu went off now we started like uh, fighting like uh, oh, pesa wow. zangu nikashindwa sasa nitampigia nani i trusted this man so much he's, he he say he's a man of god mm. the million nikaenda hivyo and on that time actually i'm seeing vision i don't know sometime if uh, we are we are too blind to listen to ourselves mm. i could see the vision that uh, this man he's uh, he's lying to me somehow but i will still send the money blindly so 3 million ikaenda hivyo ika, until today i'm talking until today that was from 2011 nililia machozi i cried a lot mm. and then i tell god what is happening now the business i was uh, yearning to do like uh, nikuwa mkulima mm. imeshaenda hivyo and i cannot do anything more mm-hmm. Hapo kitambo hata niki, nikiwa nasema nunueni makaa ninaambua kama price yani me i am I'm that ka girl i'm african girl it's not that i was born there mm. lakini nikisema gunia ya, ya makaa inunuliwe kama ni 200 kwako wewe utaambua inatoka ka 500 you will not buy the same price because uko diaspora and you are there you are sending money mm. but you are helping people why are they nini like stealing even From if it is that 300 shilling mm. me I, st- i i was crying and then uh, i continued asking him money i continued nikaona hapana then i started having those dream kama nina ninajiota nina nakufa ninajiota nini i was so uh, inaitagwaje i was like uh, dying mm. somehow mm. I, I, either inside of me or uh, physically i don't know mm. kwa naona tu nakufa mm-hmm. but i was praying to god and i say me I have not done anything wrong to anyone but those who are doing it god may you protect me from the jaw of the mm. enemy mm. then uh, i came to kenya i remember very well 2014 when i came to kenya and um, i was uh, in that a uh, very big struggle in uh, uh, nini uh, spirituality mm. i was struggling somehow and i was feeling like uh, and i want to i want to, it's like i wanted to die mm. but i don't know what was that i came but at that time i had now paid eh, the ticket in ya kukuja kenya the ticket ya south africa the ticket ya nigeria because i want to go everywhere kukombolewa kwa sababu ninaona kuna kitu ambaye endi sawa I will not not mention the the men of God because maybe it's not good to mention them here. Mm. So I went to one man of God in TLM. Mm. Uh, Eh TLM. And when he saw me he never asked me a money. Let me mention him then. His name is uh, Pastor Edward Moy. Mm. That man never asked me even five shilling. He never asked me even like uh, like whatever. He called me in fr- inside of people and he told me that what i had gone through and he told me forget about that he told me wewe ni mtu ambaye ni millionaire wewe ni mtu ambaye ungekuwa umeshika pesa nyingi lakini sime umeshika pesa zako ulipea watu na zikaenda zikaharibiwa mm. and then he told me because i was crying he told me Ata, don't ask them again na akanimwagiria mafuta frani mm. mm. And from that time then my vision started to come back mm. because I'm uh, I'm a prophetess by mm. birth. Mm. And then siku simama hapo mm-hmm. I proceeded to South Africa. Mm-hmm. Nilikuwa nimesema na, nataka kwenda kukula ile nyasi ilikuwa inakuliwa na ule ule pastor alikuwa anapea watu nyasi na manyoka. What? So I I had said from <laughs> Europe kama hiyo ndio utakula mambo ikuwe mzuri mm. then I have decided but you see now why i i proceeded even my safari ni kwa sababu si kujua kama huyu atanifanyia kila kitu ikuwe mzuri mm. huyu pastor edward mm. mwai unaona yeye ni mdogo you need big people not even that eh. yani nilikuwa ninaona sasa ninataka kwenda kwa huyu it was my first time mm. nataka kwenda kwa hau kwa huyu sasa ticket nilikuwa nimelipa sasa ni kitu ambaye singekatisha ile mm. safari mm. 
So mimi aliniombea na nikaenda nikalala. Ni lala kausingizi kama kauli ya mtoto mdogo. God bless you Pastor mm. Edward Mwai. He mm. used to call me. Mm. Eh, pastor hata nikienda pale ananiambia mbona mm. unakaa kule nyuma unafaa kukaa mm-hmm. hapa mbele. Mm-hmm. He always never want me to sit back. Mm. He always call me. Hata I he was even calling me like eh, I am in Europe mm. and he never asked me money and mm-hmm. I'm telling you before God. Mm. Before God and and myself mm. he never asked me money. Mm-hmm. Uh, then I proceeded to Nigeria. I went to Nigeria. Our my, my, my pastor wakubwa wakubwa. So me I have dined with them. I have dined with every pastor you have read the name big 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 big. I have dined with them. You know? So I go there. I have I've have been to South Africa like so many time. I have been there and then I met with this bishop and thing. Hey. hey. Ukiona siendi church then you know why? Because I don't want anything to do with the church today because men of them ama wale nime meet they are liar pathetic liar i will not go to that story maybe i will give you another day because mm. i know there is a story mm. people will ask you mm. why you didn't ask me this but, but it is because you don't know it mm. and i will not mention it because mm. uh, uh, i went to another church in south africa and then things happen mm. But that one is a story for another day. Mm-hmm. Now, let me say I have uh, given a lot of uh, pasta money, 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 money. Yaani kukuliwa bila kujua. Hata naenda kwa bank na kopa pesa. I'm still paying them today. Like a mortgage. Yeah, like a mortgage because uh, I don't know ni kama wanakuwekea ka kauchawi. I don't know. Ni wao baji lakini ni kama kama ka shetani fulani. Mm-hmm. I don't know kama mm-hmm. shetani huko. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Then I, I decided now That was a 2012. 2012 I say let me buy now a farm with my sister. Now let me leave this pastors. Let me now use my family because my family are so beautiful. I love them. I support them. I have stood with them. They have got boarding school where I never be myself. Cutters of my me, cutters of my hard working and I'm not boasting. Because here in Africa we believe that uh, ama wanasemaga ile bible they quote the bible that uh, uh, ukifanya vizuri nenda zako ama something tenda wema like nenda zako tenda wema nenda wachana na hiyo hiyo ni old tunasema hiyo old testament let us live now tuachane kutumia hiyo at tenda wema nenda zako sasa utatenda wema uende zako ushindage ukiambua nini ushindage ukiambua usiangalie nyuma sasa angalia na angalia nyuma kwa sababu ni, niko na uchongo and when i talk about that story i feel so bad mm. because this is the people i trusted the most This is my family. They have betrayed me. They have done many crazy things for me. And it is like a revenge because I've been giving to the church. church, but now they the revenge, they now want to take it the way they want to mm. take it. Mm. But remember, this hand I'm working. I am not stealing money from anyone, but I'm doing it kind with my kind heart. Mm. So uh, uh, as I say 2012 I saw a, a very beautiful um, prime plot in Rongai just 20 minutes mm. because uh, we went there and then I told my sister one of my sister my blood sister uh, could you guys go and check the plot there it's so nice and if it's nice Um, I can send the money and then uh, you people can uh, write on your name mm. and then you can uh, transfer it to my daddy's name but when I did so because I trust them I could not believe they can uh, wash wash me because I believe I was wash washed I you believe wash, washed. yes it was wash mm. I believe that <laughs> yeah so me I went there <coughs> uh-huh. mm-hmm. me I went to there Lynn or I sent the money to the How to much? my sister that was 1 million mm-hmm. ndio watengeneza inaitaga wabaka ile fence na nini mm. na ninaonyeshwa kila kitu everything ina, ina look very original and you had bought it at how much 1 million na ukawatumia wengine 1 million ya kutengeneza no 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 1 million ya kufanya one kila million kitu 1 million ya mm. kufanya kila kitu mm. and then i send also 400000 hiyo ndio kwanza niliambua na that is my biological sister at hiyo 400000 itakuwa iki ina yani ina mea ni kumea ama ita grow ina grow mm. every month 100000 mm. mm. sio ni hata ushasikia pesa ina mea hivyo 
Have you heard that? Hata mumeo kipanda unameaga in one month. Alikuwa iweke wapi ndio imekuwa saa kwa hata sikumbuki hiyo ilikuwa inaitwaje mm. ni kabanki hata mimi sijui mm. sikumbuki hiyo jina lake i have to go back on that that mm. time mm. ndio nijue hiyo cause nao wanajua tayari 3 million ishaenda kwa sababu nilikuwa na kilio kubwa mm. wakati nyanganywa na hiyo pasta so wanajua hivyo so nao wanataka sasa na wao waninyanganye na njia yao so wakaniambia hiyo for nikamwambia hiyo 400000 ni ya my son wakaniambia hiyo kwanza itamea yani Itamea one in one every month inamea na 100,000. Na mimi nikasema hata sijaisikia kitu kama hiyo. Let me try. Sasa I be imagine one one year. Hiyo itamea how much? Wow wow wow. wow. Yes. <laughs> una imagine unakuwa ka millionaire unajua mm. everybody want things like ile kitu ina ina, ina pop up kutoka mm. hapa number 1 to number 8. Mm. You are there, you are done. So me I did that is my money is my working. And then nishawatumia shamba na washanunua. Then I came back uh, 2013 and um, I was here for three months. I never been in Kenya for that long. By that time I decided I'm coming for three months because I, I wanted to record some music. Mm. And I was recording it in, in Pangani. Mm. So when I was there, I was calling them to come and show me where they had bought their property. The property. And uh, when I called them, uh, they are busy. They had almost I don't know how many phone line. They are busy. They are not there to kolondwa. Sijui wapi. We are not vile. Imagine for three months they I saw them just the last minute. The last minute I'm going home. Just I think one or two days later. Then they took me there. Even when they are taking me there, you could see there is a nini kakizungu kanaendelea hapa. Could you see there is a ka, ka propaganda frani, but you don't understand because you trust these people so mm, much. Mm. It's, your, it's your own people, it's your family. We went there. When we went there, they are, they are even entering somewhere. Tukafika pale wakaingia mahali pale. Actually, I was a neighbor of Krizi Kirumbi hapo mm. hivo. That's why the plot is, um, was very good. Mm. Tukaingia tu hapo hivo. Wakaingia wakaniambia mini goje. I don't know what they went there and say. Then we went there and see the, the plot. When we went to see the plot, Nikaambia ai Lucy ah ah this is not the one uh, I had seen wakaniambia ni hii usijali ni hii ni hii lakini hiyo kanaonekana ni ni kama ka 40 by wherever ka 40 by 30 mm. kitu mm. kama hicho lakini <laughs> me mine was a 50 by 100 mm. because hata uh, kama hauna ile nini hauna ile kipimo yes. kuna kipimo ya macho fulani mm. unaona hii mm. hii unaweza ona hii ni 50 mm. by 100 mm. hii then nikaambia ai hapana hii hata kama si spirit of god showing me this is not the place wakaniambia it is this nikaambia okay do this guys no problem sell give my money back you don't have to nini to give me the the Food. interest just g- sell and give me the money back because i didn't like the place and the place was not the, the one then i went back to europe when i went back to europe just one week One week my blood sister called me and told me, "Hey sis, ah, uh, I'm so sorry. Mahali ulioneshwa na my husband. It is not uh, the place. Si hapo. Kuna mtu amekuja ku claim. Nikamuliza but Lucy, how comes you bought, you guys bought this um, uh, mm. lot in 2011 mm. and nobody ever come to claim?" And then you people faced the 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 plot no one claimed. no one came to claim but I came one year later you just show me the place and suddenly someone came to claim can be no 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 usiwe na shida everything is okay yako ni hiyo kando ya hiyo uliona na mimi nikauliza huyo mtu amekuja ku claim mtu aina gani Mzee wako ni mtu amesoma, ni mtu ambaye yako na pesa, ni mtu ambaye amesoma sana hata kutuliko sisi. How come si mtu anakuja ku claim size? It's ambie, no 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 don't worry everything mm. is okay. Mm. So I left it like that. Until today I've been asking and asking and asking. But I have been crying so so, so very much. Usha cry baka yani unashindwa nini eh, sijai yani ile kulaani unasema oh god you know but you cry because mm. un, you are working very hard in europe i rarely sleep as i told you 
I work in three counties. In three counties. As a nurse. Yes. Mm. I work in three counties. I finish here. I get some time. I get a text uh, from other other places. Mm. Like, like we are having shortage of people. Mm. Could you come? Mm. And then I'm driving home. Okay. No problem. I drive there. Sometimes I go with the panty and I'm changing there. I go and shower in uh, there and then I enter to my job. And then maybe I'm going uh, in the morning mm. uh, from my night shift. Someone is also nini calling me from other place. You know, working in three counties, they don't have control where you are working or where you are not working. So they are just uh, finding people to, to fill the gap. Mm. So my sister, that's my bloody sister. And uh, I feel so bad even when I'm talking about this. I feel so sad that they did this to me and I know she will watch this. So actually some days ago before I came, I, we were having like a confrontation. I called her and I told her, can you tell me the truth what happened? Tell me the truth, Lucy. Um, uh, you know, I like listening and I will listen to you. And then uh, on the audio, I had that audio and she told me, you know what, um, what happened? Yes, we bought the farm, but you know, we got a so, so many problems. So ila title D, tuliwekea kwa nini inaita waje tulichukua ile title deed tukawekea kwa mashida maana mm. watu wengi wana to die nikamuliza but why watu wengi wana wadai so wamekuwa ni i think ni wash wash let me say so mm. and uh, mm. let me say so because uh, that is a uh, wash wash there is nothing like um uh, <laughs> there is nothing like uh, walikuja wa kanini they were very rich people and let me tell you and uh, if you are listening to me and you are eating money which did not belong to you and you are eating money uh, uh, which you don't know how much someone has struggled to get them you are you are even bringing cars to your generation mm. and generation and to generation come. and generation to come mm. and uh, that is my blood sister don't forget i have actually stood with them and that is the thing they don't like when I say I have stood it with them, when I try even to remind them why they have done this to me and I have always uh, hear their, their cry. Mm. And they told me, yeah, ukitenda wema nenda zako wachaka kutinda, ukituindi hatha, usha pea, ma, usha pea watumishi nini, pesa, suju nini. But it's my money. So they will, tunabishana ni kama nini. And I'm telling you, Rin, before my God, I have not inherited anything from my dad and my mom. Nothing, not even kikombe ya chai. Not nothing. Everything I have, I have, I have, I have worked very hard for it. I don't have even uh, those sugar daddy that have helped me to be where I am. Nobody. I am telling you, nobody and nobody. But this one, in the family, yani menyuma side yata kuliko mahali ndikuwa naenda na peana willingly in, in church. Mm. Kwa sabi kazi ya mungu na inaitagwa. Ni yeni unapeana tu kwa sabu unataka kupeana na kazi ya mungu. Mm. But uh, I will not uh, tell people that they should go and give there. So please, uh, hey. Me, I'm not a church girl. I'm mm. not a Christian. I'm, mm. a, I'm a child of God. Mm. That's what I normally tell people. Mm. So, in 2018, I know this one also. Um, uh, that was of my family. That was uh, 2018. I came to Kenya and I was, uh, I was like, uh, now, uh, my parents, they live in um, South Kinango. Mm. And I say now it's uh, very cold. Eh? It's uh, cold somehow. I want to help them so that I can buy them a plot. And uh, I, be, I build for them. Then we found uh, this uh, company called the uh, Stone or whatever mm. in Kenya. Mm. And uh, then I took my mom, my dad together. They will watch this. They know what I'm talking. Me, I don't talk thing that uh, I am finding the story. I'm not finding the story. This mm. is a real story. Mm. And it is my true story. I took my mom and my dad and we went to their office of this uh, stone home or sto mm. whatever. I don't remember mm. the company, but it's stone or wherever. They will watch it. They know what I'm talking about with them also. We went there and we, we spoke with the guy. They look genuine and things like that. And we signed the paper. And I had bought uh, the new line, eh? Kenyan line. Mm. This Kenyan line, <laughs> no, no, I, didn't give, I have not given uh, to everyone. Mm. And then... We sign the paper and then we say, okay, uh, you go to the bank and then you, you pay <laughs> this and then you can pay this, uh, this and this amount after one year. Mm. Those houses were in Joska. That was in 2018. <laughs> it was on Joska. Mm. That was a bungalow. Mm. 
um, three bedroom and uh, outside was a very nice and generator and everything. This was a project. Mm. So we went there with the, these people and they saw us, me and my mom and uh, my dad. We went there, we saw everything. And I was happy and I said, let me give them the gift because um, they, they, are are, your parents. they are my parent. Me coming back to the ho hotel, I was staying in uh, Salova. Mm. Coming back to the hotel, I sat with the other business woman from Germany. We were sitting there and I went to bed uh, around 11 and then Kafon is coming. I was like, who is this? And uh, someone told me, eh, Sasa, eh, Malaika, Kamambia, hello, who is this? Satana usiku, na ini namba mpia mm. nimenua hapa Kenya. Mm, mm. Manambia, mimi ni mwenye umenunua eh, yamba pare yoska. Mm. Nikamuliza, okay. Na ujue umenyaganywa. Ume Alikuwa naongea kama kiksi, juhi ni kikapa, si juhi ni kimero. Na ujue umenyaganywa. Manake hiyo yamba ni yangu. Na wale wamekuhusia wamegunyaganya. Nikamwambie what do you mean? But uh, why are you calling me now then? Why you didn't call me during the day when I was there? And how did you know I have bought it? Akaniambia I knew it because it is my farm. Me I was just like uh, very uh, afraid. That was uh, on a uh, uh, Saturday. Mm. I was thinking and thinking. I went to the reception and I told them, there is someone who is calling me. I don't know. Who is this? And uh, I told them I want to record because this is started shocking me. Mm. And then at the reception, they told me, yeah, you can record. But when I'm trying to, to record, mm. I could just hear my voice. You cannot hear the other voice. Mm. So to Kapoteliana Ivo. But in the morning, he told me he will call me on Sunday morning. Mm. I didn't sleep that night <coughs> because I know already I have signed uh, I have signed uh, Nini like uh, 2.3 million and I signed and uh, I'm going to pay cash and your Nini nyumba yendele. And then I was like who is that? On the Sunday morning, huyo mtu akapiga, tena alipiga na namba nyingine tofauti. Sasa tena kuchukua simu nilikuwa nafikiria ni mtu mwingine anapiga. Then is the same guy. Hi, ni yule mtu alikupigia njana. Eh, e, sasa ufanye hivi. Mimi niko hitui. Unitumie eh, pesa ni kuje ni kuambia hii vitu mzuri. Nikamwambia if you are the owner of a Joska and uh, that is the whole that place is very big. Why should I send you the bus fare to come? Nikamwambia pay the bus fare you come to my hotel and then I will give you the bus fare because I don't know who is this. Mm. And then he told me no you send me and then I want you to meet me in another place. And I told him, no, I cannot meet you in another place. I want you to meet me in my hotel. Mm. And then he said he cannot come in that hotel because it's too much security. And that is what I like because the security is very important for mm. me. Mm. But he wanted me to pereka hivi choro choro ukuinje. I cannot do mm. that. But he kept on calling me. I called my parents and I asked them. I told them, there is someone who is calling me. Who is this? And he told me the shamba I was buying, uh, labrabra, is belong to him. My mom akaniambia, ati we nilikuambia, unajua unanyaga nyago wewe sana. Nilikuambia, mom, it's not a blaming time. I'm asking who gave him my number. Mm. Because now if you start blaming me, atutajua. Eh, atutajua. Nene mpa namba. Akasema, I, I see mimi. Aya, nae baba akasema, hey, hey, rai mambo inaendaga aje. Me, I, now, nika watch on a ile dilemma. Mm. Ile dilemma I can funja kabisa. On Monday, I went to the bank. I canceled the money. Because you kituma pesa on Saturday, as well as toka Monday, so zingetoka on Monday. Mm. I went to the back list and I canceled the money. When I canceled the money, and then I, um, uh, there is one musician, I will not mention her. Mm. She took me to another, another man, and then I bought the Ruiro. Uh, in Ruiru, I bought mm. uh, the, the plot again mm. with the same money mm. because uh, I had said that, you know, I want something. I went also with my mom and my dad. I bought there and then I find the lawyer and then I paid the lawyer 50000 mm. And uh, that is how when I went back. I, I am not even uh, getting through the lawyer. So I went back because it was the last minute. Mm. When I went back there, I got the, the um, what you call it? I got the 
the same man who was following me mm. from jo- Yoska, mm. alikuwa anasema Yoska. Mm. He followed me with my Norwegian number. I started getting afraid. Who is that following me? I'm in danger. And he told me, ulifika sarama. Can you imagine? Now it's my Norwegian number, not my Kenyan number because my Kenyan number is not working. Mm. Ati ulifika sarama. Kambia ya, nilifika sarama. Who, who is you? Kaangalia picha yake. Nikaangalia hasa jina lake alikuwa anaitwa Moturi. Mm. Kwanza hata si wa Yoska, ni wa nini e, kuna itoaje? Moturi wa nini Meru. Mm. Sasa si wa kitui. Sasa mimi nimeshaona mpaka namba yake. Nimeshaona mpaka jina lake. And then as normally I do, I took the the nini namba and I posted on my Facebook mm. and I said this is shocking me. This someone have followed me in Kenya and now he have my Norwegian number. And I'm still in dilemma. I don't know who have given him my number. Baka Norwegian. Yani nikawa na ile kakitu. Mm. I posted and people commented and say, oh, in Kenya you need to be careful. When you are diasporan, so you will get a lot of uh, those, those, those banditos. Mm. You don't understand. Me, I posted and I post for one year. Memory came. That was uh, 2019. You know, e Facebook in a tunetaka memory. Mm. I reshared and I say I, I said I still I still remember this like yesterday. This someone is still like mysterious. I mm. don't know who is this. Mm. If I died that 20 that 2018, even my family will go with the placard. Justice for Malaika, justice for Malaika. <laughs> uh, you know, I I posted which is true. When I posted like this on a Facebook memory one year later do you know what my bloody sister called me and told me oh sister sister remove that remove that picture you know that is a husband of my husband of our sister and i say ruth what do you say C- come on again oh, i started what? sweating i i was like should i uh, scream or what that is one year later So it's a it, family member. Yes, it was my stereos for me. My stereos. Is it my stereos in English? Mysterious. Thank yes. you. Yeah, mysterious. Mm. Mysterious. Mm. <laughs> mysterious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So imagine numeenda hivi for one year you know nothing. Then you are sharing the memory you shared about your ordeal <laughs> and then your sister, your blood. I'm telling you my blood sister, bloody called you telling you hey remove that picture that na hiyo ni 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 majina zake cuz he posted even then his number uh, yes ha and ha. i said rude Ru, tell me i am sweating you mean does my parent know him yeah they know him and uh, how comes why you didn't say that uh, like one year ago when i posted mm. on facebook because i did I said no 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 don't but but you remove it. And then I say whatever I post because it's true me I never I never remove. If you go on my post everything I post I never I never remove. Because why am I removing? Mm. I'm not a uh, posting thing to make people happy. I post thing that I go through. Mm. Then immediately the man now called me on my WhatsApp. And uh, I de- I never pick because now he's calling me. And then I told him uh, I told him why are you calling me now? One year ago you never told me who you are. And he told me on a audio eh nikikufa nitakufa kwa ajili ya watu wenye. Nikamuliza what do you mean? They are the one who sent me. Na mimi nikamuliza how? Nae my sister told me remove that man. Nae sasa my sister sasa yule ambaye huyu ndio mwanake akanipigia simu na kataa kuchukua akaniandikia audio akaniambia shetan wewe wewe wa wewe makanga wewe ukikuja hapa ukikuja hapa nitakumaliza wewe jaondoa hiyo nini eh mimi nikakaa hivi nikasema gai makanga sasa yani they don't they don't humble they don't humble themselves nina nina pera kwa na matusi hivi sasa mimi nikamuuliza sasa mimi ni makanga kwanza niambie huyu mtu ulikuwa unamtuma kwa nini I was buying the house for your mother, your father, my mother, our mother, our parent. Why should you send a bandit to me? You know that but even today, even I told my my parent. Me even I sit with them I not I'm not going to eat with them because I fear them if they can send someone and I'm buying the house for you. 
And the mom told me, ah, no, no, daughter, don't, don't worry. Forgive them and forget. And I say, even if my mom, I forget. You know this thing they tell people, forgive, forgive and forget uh, and, and move on. Where are you moving on? Where are you going? And where are you moving on? You're mm. not standing on someone. Where are you moving? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like serious. Lean. Where are you going? Where are you moving? Where are you going? <laughs> and they forget and move on. Forget. Forget and forget. Forget forget what? Lynn, I can forgive you. But I don't forget your name. I will not. Because that is my blood family, my blood sister and brother that I trusted so much. That I said, even if I don't have much, but I, I give the family. Mm. Right now, they are renting, but they could have ripped the, the house. They mm. are not paying. And I'm, I'm speaking the truth. I'm speaking. I, I'm Ramba here. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> no, like serious. Right now, they are renting, but they could have lived the house. They are not even paying anything. Mm. Countess of me. Mm. Me, you makanga wiyo. Yani, ukifungua yosu muyangu, jumimi, I keep record. Hey, yani. Hakuna kitu ujaitua. Yani, ushasi, ito hizo majina zote. Mm. And they don't humble themselves. And me, I didn't say nothing. Me, I was saying, Hana, imagine what you have done. Me, I cried. I didn't even say bad. Come on, be thank you so very much. Kumbe ni mejua after one year. Thank you. Uyo mze aliingia kwa nyumba the same time na kampakura kira kitu na kaiba gari na kaenda. Kwa sababu sasa hata alisama maisha yake iko indeja, picha yake iko hapo, eh, kila kitu iko hapo, akasema iko indeja. Akatoka. Wakati ya liondoka, my sister one later kaniambia, wei nisamehe, si, eh, family is a family. Kambia me, I had forgiven you mm. for already. Mm. But what you have done, I don't know if I will ever forget. I, even today, I, I can't forget. Mm. Because I still feel bad that my parents are renting now. And you wanted lived. to buy them a house. Yes. And then you want to buy them a Imagine wa, uh, nini ule mtu wangeenda wa nini. Jua likuwa anataka zire pesa ni cancel. Nienda nazo, ni mpatia. Alikuwa anataka ni mpatia sasa mahali mzuri. Sasa wangeenda wakule huko nyuma. Na wangekula pesa ya nani? Mm. Ya paro. Mm. Ya maparo wake. Mm. So yani ukiwa diaspora. I don't know how these people they take us. How they think we are. We are working. We are not rich, but we are working for rich. I all normally tell people, I work very hard to make my life luxurious. Every time I come to Kenya, I come with a business class. Every time I come to Kenya, I, I live on a five star. Why I do that? Because I imagine how much I work. I struggle in a, in a cold, in a cold, in yes. a snow. It's, it's crazy. Mm. In Europe, just look online. You will see a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, people. Sometimes the thing we do online, utasema hawa ni watoto. Mm. But it's because we have nobody. We are just there. Sisi, tunaita, sisi ni kama hile tunaitiso pesa, ni kama kabanki tu, mm. ni pesa. Tuma. Yeah, pesa. Mi nisha kuwa baka pala hivyo, niko mgonjwa. Niko kwa kitanda ya hospitali hivi, ni melala hivi. I cannot even, hata kujigeusha. Mtoto wangu anipeleka baka kwa cho. But my people call me there, instead of asking me, how are you? How are you doing? Wana nipigia simu hile ya kwanza kusema hello. We, we need money. Wara, wara, wara. Sayo, unalia. Sayo, niko kwa kitanda hata kujigauza. Hata daktale ya kikuja na ni. Yeah, I have been six. Mm. You see? Mm. So, this is my family. The thing that have happened and it have hurt me so very much. I have tried to invest. Right now, I have nothing in here in Kenya. The thing that I have maybe is a shamba in the South Kinangop. Even I'm looking someone to buy it. Or I light down to my to my son. Mm. That uh, at least that akuja ngengane na wao. Now he's a big boy. Maybe watamuogopa juu ya masong. Mm. Yeah. But for me, you know me, I'm that kind. I'm soft. Um, at a size, I have met uh, some of them. And I have sold them. Uh, in itaku waje solidarity. Mm. Mm. Yani ni mwaonyesha tu bado. Ni na wapenda. But uh, ukona ile kawoga. You never know what I wash and wash in a nanini. Nikulize, mm -hmm. in total, mm -hmm. you are pastors, you are to my home, your investment, umetumia, umetupa pesa kanga. Eh, hey, my dear, I think I have used more than 10 million. Nazimenda Ivo. Kaput. What? Nasa Nikulize, you are 10 million in Menda Kwa. My pastors? Uh -huh. And uh, families, uh -huh. and uh, nini, uh, even uh, what can I say? Mm. Now, it's, a, it's a family, it's, and they, they, mm. don't, they don't care that, mm. uh, yeah? Um, na, uh, and you work hard in Europe. Oh, very hard. Oh, really very hard. Lynn. Hamuna social life. 
no shosho kama mimi if you ask the people and i know you will see the people commenting down on on on, on YouTube. youtube you will see them they know even me sometimes they call me um hardly like uh, i've been uh, in norway or now almost 20 years you will not see me even at a gym rango ya disco inakaje i don't know na watu wanapenda maraha hata europe they mm. go dancing mm. me you will you will uh, you will not see me kazi tu kazi 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 even the house now when i now notice that now my family are just taking thing for me are wash washing me i have cried a lot i decided uh, actually that was a 2018 when i came back and i see how it thing are going I started a project and then uh, uh, they built the house for me where mm. I live now is a prime when you come to Nuru welcome yes you will love it you have a house in Nuru I have my own oh. house yes I have my own house yes. actually is a prime yes. I'm only the african yeah, where we live go on, good yeah. job. Uh-huh. where I live yeah, we are only african uh. before I will not invest I want to invest to my people I want to help them but now I decided I want to invest there mm. my house worth more than 70 million Kenya shilling that is a house not big house like you will see here in runda mm. or something like that yes is a, a house uh, actually it has only two bedrooms mm. yes but it is a prime area uh, and uh, entering to my place you need protocol <laughs> you don't, just, you just, you don't, don't just enter kuna muna click uh, call you just no. d- don't enter eh. you will enter there and if you enter there i have to open for you mm. maybe i come to open for you you mm. enter there you come another place mm. you 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 ring i have to see you on the camera before eh. i open eh. and then you come now you come to my house and then you ring I, then you come to my house yes i can call is since we may she diaspora sasa mm-hmm. and we are dealing with so many people in diaspora wanaogopa mm-hmm. kuinvest yeah wanaogopa kuinvest nyumbani hata mnaona apartments ziki advertise wa mnaona vitu ziki advertise wa na mko scared mm-hmm. hii na wash washiwa mm-hmm. lessons gani ka tatu melan ungetaka ku advise watu wa diaspora wow <laughs> sijui nitawekea uoga mimi <laughs> <laughs> no like serious mm. sijui kana nitawekea uoga mm. cuz maybe you have people you, you uh, that uh, that uh, that are, are doing great uh, mm. on your side but uh, <laughs> for me i think If you want to invest actually don't invest with someone who have not touched million. Don't invest with someone who have have nothing on their account. Invest with someone who have already built themselves. Someone who have uh, you know established themselves very well. Because the example I invest uh, in my family. Mm. They don't have that 1 million. And then they see that 1 million they say no, hii tunachukua kwanza. Yeye ata, atajipanga baadaye. So me I would love to say that uh, those people who who still want to invest in Kenya maybe you have a good family me I don't have and I'm saying it on camera I don't have uh, that a good family that mm. I can trust mm. they have uh, betrayed me you know that ka betrayal is very painful I have cried a lot not even little sometimes I I enter in my house and I thank God God have given me the very beautiful house when I enter I feel like uh, you know that ka peaceful Yeah? Peace of mind. When I enter there instead I I I, I ni same nduru. Yes, you feel happy. Nafungua ile katv naweka ile nini ile slow motion things mm. and then I see the, <laughs> yeah I see their thing and then when you see outside you and you see something you know you know I yes. live on a center you know yes. somewhere very nice you mm. know I, I feel proud of yeah. myself so, yes. you know So invest if you can invest but for me I am that uh, kagali who is fed up. Mm. Somehow I'm very fed up on investing on anything here in Kenya. So now I'm thinking of investing there. Mm. That is where now my heart is. Mm. And uh, uh, one thing I have not told you so yeah I'm that kagal mm. who is uh, LCD yes. who is finding new thing all the time. So in uh, l- like last year no 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 2021 so I have also another another like a small house. Mm. Uh, it is like a kashamba. Uh, I'm a, iko, iko mashinani from my place is, uh, is Samoa. Mm. But there I have all kind of fruits. All kind of fruit mention them at at sinaga majina. Mm. It is God. So that house I bought it just like uh, 5 million mm-hmm. Kenya shilling. Mm-hmm. So it is very far. And then there I produce beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah 
<laughs> okay. I produce mapombe. Yes. So, uh, I have mapombe called the MK. Mm. Yeah, MK. Yeah. So, Lynn, uh, what I will tell even those people in diaspora, when you are sending money, know whom you are sending to. And uh, it doesn't mean I didn't know who I was sending to. I was sending actually to people I know, people I trusted, people I loved the most. Yeah. But uh, were many wash wash. In short, invest with professionals. Professionals. Na sijui, sijui, uenda kwanza uonyesho hapo, hivo, jua, he, ayi, sasa hata ukienda hata uonyesho, unaza tu nyakanyo pia. Mimi ni dionyesho baka title D na sister yangu wakati nini, wali nionesha hivi, na ni title D, inakaa title D hata hiko na hiyo karazake. And then inarudi pale, just one week, we are very sorry, mahali ulionesho si hapo, kuna mutu wa mekremu. Mutu wanakuja kukremu wa, nini, one year later. What other tip ukonayo kwa watu wa diaspora? Hey. Advising in a mwisho. I think what I will advise them, you just come to Kenya if you want to buy a plot or a shamba or whatever you want to buy, come physically, in it physically, mm. come physically in Kenya. Go yourself and see the place. And then if you are investing with the professional people, patua ile number. Ya mwenye Muneza ongea na yeye. Ya, yeah, ama ile namba, ile ya iyo namba, iyo plot. Mm, mm. Enda ufanya investigation. Mm, mm, mm. When you done... You do the search. You do the search. Ni search yo. You do the search. After you do the search, then ujue kama title D itatokea ukiwa. Hapa ama itatokea ukiwa kule. Na ujiandikisha jina rako. Jumi, kila kitu nisha andikisha kwa baba yangu. Tuseme hata saizi, tunaomba ma, wazazu wangu waishi maisha marefu. Kama tuseme kama leo tu mungu wa ondoe, we never know. My daddy is over mm. 70. Mm. Yeah. You know, eh, everything is in my daddy's name. Kama wenyewe my bloody sister wa many wash wash. What will happen? What is it in Mariza Baba? Sasa mutaachwa tena mukipigania Mariza kwa wewe na mm. mimi ni mwana, ni mwana wa unona. Mm. Sasa hafadhali ukuja Kenya, wewe mwana diaspora. Kuja Kenya, angalia mtu ambaye unaona kweli yako original, ni original ama original, ni genuine. Original, iyo genuine. <laughs> Abaya yako genuine, uwende ufanya search ya iyo shamba yako, and then ufanya kila kitu na uandikisha kwa jina lako, and then you are good to go. Good. Na uwacha ume fans mm, vizuri. Because mm. uh, mimi majia zote nimefanya, si majia za hivi hivi, mimi nimefanya nikipitia kwa watu wetu, manake najua, I will get them. Mm. But now, I'm um, speaking here, I don't know even how I will get them. Malaika, let me, of all easy vitu zote umepitia, mm -hmm. ni nini imekua your greatest lesson? Unaeza sema ni nini umesoma zaidi kwa story yako? Because umepitia mambo mob, mengi. mengi sana, but unaeza sema nini imekua your greatest lesson na nguvu unatoanga wapi? I think you need to be strong and have faith. Mm that everything will be okay. Mm. Because not everyone who will go through what I have gone through, Anaiza survive. and they keep on going, or they keep on pushing, mm. but for me I keep on pushing, because I know the great is yet to come. Mm. I'm happy for you, Yes. and I can't, I, I think for me my greatest challenge would be, I see you have a YouTube channel, Malaika yes. Kimani Norway, yes. and I want you to put great content up. Yes. Maybe ukionyesha watu venye life hiko Norway, yes. ukweli kabisa unawambia this is how hard we work, maybe yes. watailewa. Watailewa. Maybe watailewa, mm -hmm. but apart from that, me always say, when things happen, don't mm. give up the person you are. It's yes. very easy to change cause of zile vitu zimefanyika. Exactly. But hold on to who you are. Lakini yes. ukilan lesson, yes. unaichukulia si? Yeah. seriously. Yeah, yes, yeah, apart true. from maybe YouTube, and guys, please go support her link. Yake iko pinned on the comment section. What wanaeza kupata wapi tena? Yeah, muneza nipata uh, Malaika Kimani Norway, yes. MK Norway. MK. Yes. Yes. Uh, na kwa mitanda wa yote ni Malaika Kimani. Yeah. Eh, hata Instagram ni Malaika Kimani, mm -hmm. kwa TikTok ni Malaika Kimani, yeah. YouTube ni Malaika Kimani. Yes, Norway. Norway. Una Adio Kanorwe. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I'm happy. Th um, for me, I'm grateful mm. you share story yako na mimi. Yes. I feel like I know you better. 
Yes. Now mm-hmm. I feel like this is a episode to me fanya tatu mm-hmm. zilikuwa na lesson. Yes. Zilikuwa na lesson. Mm-hmm. So I just to tell you to keep going. It's yes. important yes. na usi give up. I will not. Yes, nataka mm. kumaliza anything ungetaka kuambia watu wangu. Yes, <laughs> watu wa Lingugi, uh, thank you for uh, being patient. Yes. I know my story. Uh, uh, maybe is the one maybe ham, mengine hamjaisikia wengine wameshanisikia labda nimesema sema tu kidogo lakini mengine nimeshare na Lin Gugi because i do respect her very much so mkuwe encouraged msikue discouraged because uh, mnaweza bado invest hapa Kenya na mnaweza pia nini jipata mkiwa kwa mikono mizuri labda mimi niliangukia mikono mbaya kwa hivyo don't be discouraged keep on investing because uh, home is the best yes. and home is home yeah. hata kama mimi nimekufa kamoyo labda kamoyo katafufuka siku moja katafufuka yes. and there are people i would want you to talk to yeah. when i to kings developers yes. and i said when i sit on this chair i just don't advocate for anything yes. I, uh, i want to see you invest in home mm-hmm. but at mikono za watu wenye najua yes. the, uh, watu mm-hmm. by the way wakiwai wakosea kujieni lean yes. you can go and invest na kings King developer they have nice nice products okay. by products i mean mm-hmm. there are many things wako apartments affordable okay. si lazima yeah. ati zile wako na high end by the way wako na high end wako na easy all these beautiful buildings mm-hmm. but they also have affordable products okay. ukienda pale ruiru mm-hmm. wako na apartments okay. and they are very affordable na waikea prices guys hapa chini mm-hmm. ukienda rungai they have apartments mm-hmm. these apartments zao zimejengwa for unaona venye unaweza tu ingia home na ufeel am at home yes. and you feel everything is there you are sink is beautiful the bathrooms are beautiful and everything every yani imetengenezwa na so much <coughs> imetengenezwa na so much care yes. at hata ukiingia hapo you feel like you at home mm-hmm. and they can be afforded ukitaka high end they have high end mm-hmm. we naona tukikupeleka hapa kileleshwa so unaweza hey. nunua <laughs> I, I will yes. I will I will ni ni nitakufia yeah. hapo. Utakufia. Yeah I, I like I like business. You I like ni ni. Yeah, you like apartments and places. Yeah hey, I like those the things. Those yeah. things. Yes. Yes. When naona nikikupatia moja hapo kileleshwa. Hebu nipeni. Uende uangalie <laughs> hapo yeah. and for you guys Aki thank you so much for tuning in because honestly I have learned a lot from today's conversation and my heart goes out to especially the guys in diaspora. I know how hard you work. I've been there. I've seen it. I've seen even my friend Lydia Tetolet trying to juggle between family work any yani guys these guys they don't rest sometimes and they get to send us something back at home and for someone who trust what back at home and they take advantage of them it's not okay i'll tell you guys it's not okay and i want you to be careful with how you invest who you invest with and for me my take home especially having you know doing these stories is invest with professionals guys it is okay to trust people but do they have the iso profession zinaitangwa aje wame qualify wame qualify ku handle iso pesa zenye unawatumia and how do you know unajua sasa ingine by the si makosa yao pia at the end of the day as malaika amesema these people maybe they've never touched a million so umewatumia 1 million itakachanganya manze hapa ni Kenya na life ni ngumu hata mimi mtu sasa nitumie 1 million naanza kuiangalia hivi nishindwe sasa ii hii nitaiangalia na style gani acha nikwambie so it is very important for you to invest with professionals and that's why guys today's episode as you know is highly powered by kings developers and i want you to go and check their wonderful properties zenye wako nazo apartments left right and center from ruiru to rungai and they are so affordable they are building number one. number one, hakuna shortcuts wanajenga nyumba inapakwa rangi wana double check na wana make sure iko in high standard halafu tena wanakufanyia nini wanakuuzia you are dealing with one person here so guys why don't you check them out and also because of the issues that are arising it is very important kabla uende i need us to listen to an expert i'll go to the guys at kings because there are some questions i need them to answer so that they are able to help you guys matters properties this 
topic is complex, guys. Tuwezi maliza hata na siku moja. But I want them to chip in so that they can tell us. If you're investing, if you're buying a property, guys. Kama unataka apartment, what are some of the key things that you need to look out for? And what sets them apart from other guys? So don't go anywhere, guys. Please, please, please give me three minutes so that we are able to take some few tips on the best way for us to invest and make sure and make sure our money is going towards the right course and it's being handled by professionals and of course if you want to share your story with us info at lnn.digital happened your mnaeza nipata so kabla nifunge episode guys let's listen in my name is Sheila Mgoi. I work for King's Developers. Yes. Uh, we are a real estate company. We build and we sell properties. Yeah. We've been in the market since 2006. So we've been in the game for quite a while. But as a company, we have been under the royal group of companies. We started uh, in the 1950s. Okay. So we've been we've been here for a while. Yeah. Yes. My, I love your office. Thank you so I much. I love everything about this place. Mm -hmm. And we are at Prism Tower. Yes, right this is now. the Prism Tower. Yes. The most iconic building in it, Nairobi. How is in business? Africa. Very well. Yeah. Can't complain that much. Mm -hmm. We thank God. Okay. Yes. Eshila, it was very important mm -hmm. for me to bring you mm -hmm. in this episode because mm -hmm. we've just watched an episode of Malaika who mm -hmm. just like so many other people in diaspora mm -hmm. and even locally are getting conned left, right and center. Mm -hmm. And properties, it's really an extensive topic. Mm -hmm. And I was like, who else to help us, you know, just give us few tips here and there mm -hmm. than King's developer. So thank you first for making time. Asante. Yes. So I have just few questions. Mm -hmm. For you uh, because again as I said we can't have this happening over and over from Malaika's story what has been your observation now observation number one mm. in as much as we trust our relatives it's also she said something that I've not forgotten where usipatia mtojawaishi kama milioni moja usimpatia pesa so that's uh, that's something you should pick up on. In as much as you trust your relatives, it's very important to actually now be more, con have the conversation where you can now pay not to an individual, but to a company. Mm -hmm. You see, as King's developers, when we give you a letter of offer, when you're buying a property from us, the first thing when you're giving the letter of offer, the bank details are not under anybody's name. Mm -hmm. It is the company's name. Mm -hmm. You can trace us. So that's usually the first thing. Yes. Second thing, you know, you just can't pay money and you've not looked at the place you have to go and you somebody who you trust you can just let them know let them go and see the place mm -hmm. where the property is yeah that's the first thing second thing you know we are in an era of social media you can always just check things online check their website you can always go to the ministry of lands identify and authentify everything that they are saying mm -hmm. so that you don't you don't do everything blindly yeah yeah just have an open mind mm -hmm. Take as much time as possible. Do your land searches. Yes. There's so much information out there. Mm. It's just that it takes time to unearth it. Yeah. So, uh, Sheila, mm -hmm. you have just been walking around here mm -hmm. and I've seen a lot of, you know, structures, mm -hmm. especially on the other room, some of the projects that you are so proudly associated with. Mm -hmm. But for people who are watching, why trust King's developers mm -hmm. and what sets you aside mm -hmm. from other companies? So what sets us apart? Number one, we build in clusters we allocate ourselves to each and every market mm -hmm. we're just not in the affordable side we are also in the mid to high end so whatever fits your budget as we try to fit yeah. into your life yes. so first of all we do make tailor-made payment plans for you mm -hmm. so that's the first thing that i can always it sets us apart yeah secondly is that our wide portfolio as i've said we've been in the industry since 2006 mm -hmm. That's over 15 years. We have over 40 projects completed, yeah. and that speaks volumes. You know, we're not just a mushroom that we came up yesterday and disappeared tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We have mastered the market. Yeah. And thirdly, we are under the royal group of companies. Mm -hmm. Our companies act as supplements to the real estate world. Yes. Here's the thing. Real estate is it's expensive. Building a house doesn't cost you one shilling. Yes. It costs you... Price of steel is expensive, price mm -hmm. of cement is expensive, mm -hmm. price of tanks, pipes, all these things that you have to do to build a house, it's very expensive. Yeah. So our companies supplement the real estate world. Yes. And that's the reason why we are able to give affordable prices, mm -hmm. not because of anything else, but because we've been in the market for quite a while. Our yeah. industry supplement us. Yes. We are able now to give a standardized and subsidized price mm -hmm. for everybody in the company, for everybody in the, in the nation, mm -hmm. even abroad, just okay. in Kenya. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm very 
interested in the affordable housing projects that you have, mm -hmm. as you all watched the story of Ochieng, mm -hmm. that is where he has his incredible apartment. Yes, so has. kudos to Ochieng. I'm sure he inspired a lot of people in this uh, platform. Mm -hmm. But uh, for the people in diaspora that would want just to come and check them out, maybe if you could take us through other projects, apart from the one I was in in Rongai, mm -hmm. and also why should they trust that their money is safe with you guys, mm -hmm. apart from from them doing their background check because this is a company I'm yes. highly vouching for. Thank Could you. you please give them your word that they can really trust okay. you guys? Even if you don't trust my yes. word or your word, yeah. we are actually the only developer right now. I know the others will come up, but we are the only developer currently who are working with the government yes. in building affordable housing projects. <laughs> so that speaks volumes. It's not just us who are vouching for ourselves, it's the whole government. Yeah. So because we can't con you, if we do anything you know it will just come it will, it will not end well for us yes. so number one we are the only private developer working with the government mm -hmm. right now mm -hmm. so and secondly it's the fact that we have so many projects we just didn't show up our portfolio spoke for itself yes. and then that's when it was able to create a landing platform yeah. for the government also to be on board with us yeah. and help us to now create affordable homes for mm -hmm. everybody mm -hmm. and Rongai is was the first project that we did yeah and then now when we decided you know the thing is there was a market for two bedrooms mm -hmm. okay so there was a need for now one bedrooms two bedrooms three bedrooms yeah and that's when now we went to nakuru and that's where we have king sapphire yeah. one two and three bedroom apartments mm -hmm. now when we built that still it's it's well we always see it's a sister project to the one in rongai yes then again guys were like oh mbona hamna this hamna that we were like we will build up from whatever because feedback is important yes. then now we went to king's boma estate in riru yes we just did the groundbreaking in january this year where the president actually did the first shovel yeah. so now it speaks volumes again so these ones are our studios one bedrooms two bedrooms three bedrooms yeah. classy apartments even because our show house will be ready by the end of this March mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. and so people will be able to see the kind of quality we bring to the market yeah. it's just not heavy heavy yeah. and there's something that the, uh, the PS for housing has said the fact that we are building affordable housing it doesn't mean that Ninyumba substandard mm. this is quality yeah. homes we are giving you yeah. from the finishing to the amenities because we want you to raise your family inside these houses. Oh, I see you've highly also considered the playground for the yes. kids, the parking lots. Yes. That's amazing. Every house has a parking space yeah. in Rungatarungai. Mm -hmm. So it speaks volumes. We yeah. really do cater to the market. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. So um, definitely maybe to ask, you said, you know, our portfolio speaks for itself. I know I've focused mainly on the affordable houses, mm -hmm. but what are some of the key projects that you guys have been associated okay, with? Okay. So apart from the prism tower here in Upper Hill, oh, the yeah. zigzag building yes, in Upper Hill. <laughs> yes. We also because we do both residential and commercial. Yeah. If you're in along Agnes Gozek Road, that's like our home because yes. near opposite is Quick Mart, yeah. there's King's Distinction. Mm -hmm. So we have that. That's, those are three bedrooms and SQ, high end houses. Mm -hmm. Then opposite under the Raider Hotel, along Agnes Gozek Road, yes. we have Barini Apartments, yeah. brown buildings we completed in 2020. Mm -hmm. And then you will see Skyrock Apartments. Yes. They are still ours. Yeah. And then Ukienda Sasa Kileleshwa along Mandera Road, we are there, King's Apollo yeah. suits, those are high-end houses, yeah. three bedrooms and SQ, quite yeah. big. Mm -hmm. Izo does it akua, they even have a jogging track around mm, the area, so it's quite, yes. Beautiful. Then we can the Lovington along Hatheru Road, in yeah. Hatheru Court, we have a two-bedroom apartment there, that's uh, mid to high end. Mm -hmm. That's around 13.5 million. Yeah. It's around 1,400 square foot. So it's usually big. We yeah. give big and we give classy. Good. Yes. And I like that you are catering to everyone. Mm -hmm. If I want, if I'm starting, if I want to go to mid, if I want to go to high end, you are catering for everyone in the market. Mm -hmm. So good job. Thank you. Back to the ones in Rungai, mm -hmm. Viru, and Nakuru. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the price range, mm -hmm. especially Kamayo Yao mm -hmm. How much are we looking at? Tuneza but it's affordable but what is affordable really well i have to say though yes. people do consider affordable to be relative yes but here's the thing you know the government will give a cup to all the private developers mm. 
for you to be affordable, you have to be first of all below five billion. Okay. You can't go be above, above that. five. And m? they give a price per square foot. Oh. So you just can't make up a figure uh-huh. and then say, ah, oh, this is affordable. Yeah. But for the Rongai one, that is four million at the moment. Mm-hmm. When we started the Rongai project, that we sold it around three point two million. Yeah. That's when Ochen came on board with yes. us. And the good thing is that it looks like it's a huge amount. Yeah. But the thing is, we have curated payment plans for over thirty for like thirty months. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. So it's not a lump sum. You give us four. Yes. You, you, we, yeah. we, we agree with you. Mm-hmm. We always discuss as a company. You never close in mm. on a client mm. if you've not given the correct details. Mm-hmm. Once you make your deposit, we calculate for you, and you see is this an amount that you can comfortably pay us? Yeah. If it's not, you be like, okay, let's take a bit of time. If you are seeing Nikosawa, Tunanza when I were 30 months. Okay. Yeah. And we, we ensure you have mm. all the right information. Yeah. Everything. Okay. So that is 4 million. For, right now, only 4 million. By the time to look out, you know, it was around 3.2. Okay. So, you know, the thing is, what wali kudzambele, wali pata, wamesha pata profit yao. Yeah. yeah. That's so amazing. So, 4 million. Yeah. And then, sasa ya nakuru, one bedroom ilikuwa 1.55 million. Okay. Two bedroom, 3.25. Yes. Three bedroom, 4.3. Ah, Same structure. good. 30 months for you to complete the payment. Okay. And then now, say, ya ruiru, ndiyo ni nambia watu waanze na sisi. Because sisi we build as we sell. So, studio ni 1.25 million. One bedroom ni 1.5 million. And then, tukona two bedroom small, ni 2 million. Okay. And then, sasa na tunakuzi, sasa two bedroom standard, yes. 3.592 million. Yeah. Then two bedroom master and suit, mm-hmm. four point one seven five million. Yeah. Okay, the prices in a car funny, funny, but, but it's because the price per square foot to lipati wana gava, oh, okay. you have to adhere to it. To what they say. Yeah. I like that. So will be will there be any consideration for my people at LNN because they are coming mm. and I want them to say Nimewatu <laughs> <laughs> King's developers. So will you consider them? Let me tell you, Nita to me Luga wa Kenya to Napena Kusema. Thank you. That is all I needed. <laughs> for you to say so wakiniambia lean tuliko sana na Sheila I come back to this clip and I say hamwezi ko sana thank you Sheila and I have to say as I began your office is incredible I can't imagine what it feels to be here 24/7 I have to mention yes. you know, this is the only building at yeah. the moment when we started it yeah. had the stack parking you know when yes. you park your car yeah. alafu gari nini nakuja juu so we were the first in okay. Kenya to do that mm-hmm. so we are ahead of our time oh. even i can mention the one at Sifa Tower go on you building a steel structure okay. okay so we were the first to do that yeah. we try out new inventions to cater for the market Good. even the kind of tiles utenda kwa nyumba zetu I'm telling you what has the pattern Now that I have to say, it's true. <laughs> it's because uh, I've seen them, so yes. it's true. Yes. Yes. Even the taps, uh, yeah. we try to go above and beyond to give you an experience. Yeah. Yes. And thanks for not just giving people the low. Just thank you for giving them what is standard. Mm-hmm. For what, because sometimes I always think that in this whole real estate, mm-hmm. people think that if a tap looks nice, then it's going to be so expensive. Yeah. If the shower head is, uh, then it's going to be so expensive. Mm-hmm. If the tiles look classy it's going to be so expensive mm-hmm. but you've made that affordable so That's kudos to you guys thank you so much because at the same time you know we have our industries in nakuru yes so we have super bargains hardware in wow. nakuru so because we've been in the market i told you we supplement yes. our real estate yeah. so we are able to know what's in what's good what's good uh, mm-hmm. what would be your parting shot to my lovely people my parting shot is that it's to don't trust everybody that you see yeah Make your due diligence. Real estate is a very sensitive subject. Some people have bought houses because using their life savings. So this is money that you have really worked for. And so before you put this money into practice, Mm -hmm. do your due diligence. Come to the office. Ask people about it. It is okay to ask questions. The only person who is stupid enough is the person who never asks questions. Do your due diligence. That's what Mm -hmm. I can tell people. Mm -hmm. Go to the Ministry of Lands. Even go to the people who say, who live in those houses that they have been built by prior, Mm -hmm. the prior Mm projects. Ask them. Get more information. It's okay. It's It's okay. okay Because at the end of the day, knowledge is power. It is. Knowledge is power. Yeah. Yeah. Where can my people find you? So, you can visit our website. Yes. www.kingsdevelopers.com You can email us on sales at kingsdevelopers.com and you can call us on 0700 090 
you make me feel like i want to start this real estate job karibu sana yes. karibu sana and honestly thank you for mm-hmm. even making time i felt that it would be unfair for that episode to go up without mm-hmm. bringing an expert mm-hmm. and i believe you've given us all the relevant details that we needed mm-hmm. to help people move forward so unless my team there's a question you wanted me to ask shall i wind up All right. Yeah, and guys, I hope you've picked one or two things. I always say before I associate myself with a brand, it's because as she said, I've done my due diligence. And I want you guys because I really care about where you're investing your money. I want you to be very careful, especially my people in diaspora. At least right now, I can be able to give you someone that I personally trust. So even in 10 years if you have questions, you can come and tell me Lin Uli tutuma kings na kings walinifanyia hivi i will take responsibility because i've done my due diligence and i trust in their brand so if you are thinking of getting yourself something an apartment as you've had kuna affordable kuna hata by the way ukitaka kuishi rongai that is there for you if you want to get an apartment in kileleshwa that is also right there for you so do due diligence and get in touch with them i always say no pressure if you are in a position to halat them their contact details are right here and on the pinned comment below you will find a link to their website go check more of their properties out and see what you are able to do for yourself thank you for joining us on this incredible episode of inspire global we are coming to germany and belgium soon so guys start preparing i will announce that when time is right but if you have your stories you can start sending them our way and i'm also going to be talking to my people in diaspora especially on real estate so that by the time we are done in this year there won't be any loopholes thank you to my incredible team i don't get to do this alone guys i appreciate you and our amazing editors who compile this episode and make sure it reaches you right on time let's keep trusting the process let's now drive the process bye so trust the process One day your life is gonna change